Elagabilus, a weird kid from Syria. A teenage Antoninus arrived in Rome and he, and probably his mother as well, started to act really weird. This Antoninus was a hereditary high priest of Ilah al-Gabal, god of the mountain, also known as Elagabalus. Somehow the tradition calls him Elagabalus as well, which is kind of strange. So this guy decided to promote his favorite deed and probably make him the principal god of Rome. It is extremely hard to separate truth from fiction because the sources we have are horrifyingly biased. Elagabalus the man uh, built the temple of Elagabalus the god on the Palatine Hill and tried to transfer a number of holy relics of Roman religion to this temple. Also, he delivered the statue of Tanit from Carthage, so she could be a wife of this god. He brought a black uh, meteorite stone, the personification of Ilah al-Gabal, paraded it on the streets of Rome and uh, put this image of the god on coins. He demanded circumcision uh, from his companions and also abstinence from pork in order to maintain purity. Everyone was deeply offended by his religious reforms. The sources obviously tell stories of incredible licentiousness of Elagabalus, because he was considered a bad emperor. And stories of licentiousness, mostly completely fabricated, uh, was the traditional form of slandering. It makes no sense to go into the details. Long story short, he was extremely promiscuous, liked being a passive partner in homosexual relationships, liked to wear women's clothes, uh, prostituted himself in the brothels, married five or six times, desecrated a vestal and married her, married some men, everything. Uh, Caligula on steroids. How reliable is this information? It is not reliable at all. But yeah, he was probably a weird guy. Elagabalus and his mother alienated everyone and it seems they were so extravagant that they put the Amazon clan into a very dangerous position. So they were killed by the Praetorians, who were probably more or less loyal to Julia Misa, grandmother of Elagabalus, who decided to elevate another branch of her family. She had another daughter, Julia Mamia, and another grandson, Alexianus. A nice kid, uh, people liked him. First, they made Elagabalus adopt Alexianus, uh, now known as Severus Alexander, adopt as his heir, and uh, then, uh, well, bodies of Elagabalus and his mother uh, were thrown into the Tiber. Uh, he ruled, or more likely acted as a ruler, for less than four years. Severus Alexander, a 14-year-old boy, uh, became the new figurehead, the new emperor, uh, fully under control of his grandmother and mother. 